Hey folks, Randy here with Doing Cut and Trim. So, I'm having to make a bit of a uh, position change or reversal on a stance I've maintained for quite a while. Um, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm going to get an aftermarket carb anymore for uh, any of my equipment. Uh, my last couple experiences have not been good and uh, so I figured I'd share that with you. You know, when I first got into business, I um, aftermarket carburetors were really, really helpful for me. You know, I um, I uh, had a push mower that I got for 20 bucks, and I put an aftermarket carb on it. cost me like 15 bucks, and uh, the mower worked. You know, I used it for a while, and then when, uh, when I didn't need it anymore, I was able to sell it to a buddy of mine for 60 bucks. Could have got way more for it on Craigslist, but, you know, yeah, he, he needed one. And so, you know, it, it worked well for me then. And then my uh, BR550, the backpack blower that I, that I never used, um, it was in very rough shape when I got it. And I put a aftermarket, I mean, actually, it was more like an aftermarket kit. The kit was 15 bucks, but it came with an aftermarket carb, came, came with new fuel lines, fuel filter, air filter. Like, it came with, like, literally, excuse me, everything you would need. And uh, I put that on my BR550, I think two years ago, three years ago. And uh, it's worked perfectly. I mean, it, it runs like brand new, starts easy. It, it's been great. Um, I had a uh, uh, one of the steel yard bosses and uh, I replaced the carb on that. Same thing, it's $15 carb. Worked great. But, <sighs> The last two carbs that I've done are, have been aftermarket, and they've caused me, they've caused me a lot of issues. Um, my, uh, you know, the, you guys, if you've been watching my channel, know I ended up taking my FS90R trimmer to uh, to get serviced, and one of the first things they did was take the aftermarket carburetor off and uh, put an OEM one on, and it works great. And honestly, that was probably the only thing it needed. It was probably good to go aside from that. Uh, and then I've been, my mower, it's been running at, at, at an accept, it's been running acceptably, but it hasn't been running well uh, for most of the season. Uh, it had an aftermarket carb that I'd been working fine and um, I replaced it with the exact same aftermarket carb and it just I don't know I, I uh, it's what got me started on thinking about buying a new mower to begin with because it just just wasn't right it would like it wasn't uh, I didn't feel like I could get it adjusted correctly I was starting to wonder if maybe the throttle linkage was needed to be adjusted um, it just it just didn't work right and um, like like with with my mower typically before this most recent carb that I put on it, my mower, when you first started it in the morning, it would take two pulls. And then the rest of the day, it would start on the first pull. Uh, but with this aftermarket carb, that wasn't the case. It was like you had to find the sweet spot uh, with the throttle, and then uh, you had to you know, pull it, and then, fi then figure out where was the best place for it to for the mower to actually run at you know where it was like chugging but not too bad and then you know and then you know you know you got your own when you've been on a mower for as long as for any length of time you start to recognize how it's supposed to sound and that machine that i'm driving around with i mean i've mowed a couple thousand yards with it at this point so i know what the noises are i recognize them i know what they mean and uh I could hear that when the blades engaged, it wasn't getting up to the RPMs that it should have been getting up to. And so, you know, that had me thinking like, you know, maybe it's time to upgrade to another mower, which it is a time to do that. But um, I was also thinking like, maybe I just need to replace the engine, which, you know, 500 bucks, you know, it's not, that's not terrible. Um, but, you know, I was like, I don't know. So, I started doing some more research, and actually, a couple of you guys on here, I can't remember who, a couple of you guys have commented on videos saying, don't go aftermarket with your carb, you need to go OEM. And so I was like, well, you know, let me do some digging. And uh, 
Toro wanted 125 for the OEM carburetor on that mower. Um, fortunately, I was able to go on Amazon and I was able to find uh, the OEM carb for 65. So four, like I don't know, three or four times what I paid for an aftermarket. Um, and uh, I should, you know, I should have brought it in here with me and like held them up next to each other. You can see the difference. The newer the the OEM carb is just it's just beefier it's heavier it's like it feels like it's made with better components but either way uh, now the mower runs like a champ it runs just as good as it ever has um, and it's you know the only significant thing I did to it was put the uh, OEM carb back on it so I just want to tell you guys I am off the aftermarket wagon um, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to go OEM. It does cost more, you know, like an aftermarket carb for an FS90R trimmer is 15 bucks, and the OEM is 55 But, you know, if that's what it takes to make it work, you got to do what you got to do, you know. So I just wanted to pass that on to you guys. I hope it's helpful to you. I'm still very much an advocate for buying your parts online, especially if you're running... Uh, older equipment but um, and especially if you're gonna work on it yourself but uh, no more aftermarket for me it's just not worth all the frustration and you know obviously I ended up having to replace it anyway so it was just money down the drain basically so it's Randy with Dual and Cut and Trim I hope this was helpful to you thank you so much for watching have a good one